Hi, I'm Jane from Poppy Patchwork and welcome to my quilt block series. In each of these videos I'm going to show you how to make a different block and they're all going to measure 12 inches. I hope you like this video, if you do click the like button and please let me know in the comment section below what other videos you'd like me to make. Let's get quilting. This is my quilt block notebook and it's available on Amazon. The links are in the comment section below. And if you click on the link above, it'll take you to my video all about it. Today, I'm going to show you how to make the weather vane block. And this block will finish at 12 inches. And if you'd like to know how to use this block in a quilt, please watch to the end of this video where I've got some illustrations to show you how to use it. You will need one six inch square in background fabric, four two and a half inch squares in background fabric, and four three and a quarter inch squares. In fabric A, you will need one four and a half inch square. In fabric B, you will need one five and three quarter inch square. And four two and a half by four and a half inch rectangles. And in fabric C, you will need four two and a half inch squares. And six and one six inch square. Making the half square triangles using the magic eight method. Use the six inch squares in background fabric and fabric C. Draw two diagonal lines on the back of the six inch square in the background fabric. As shown here. Pin right sides together. Sew a seam a quarter inch away from the drawn line on both sides of the drawn line. Place on a rotating board for cutting. If you don't have a rotating board, just get a smaller board that you can turn easily. Cut number one is a horizontal cut along the centre. Turn the board and then cut number two is another horizontal line along the centre. Turn the board and cut number three is across the diagonal cutting along the drawn line. And then turn the board again for cut number four, again cutting across the diagonal along the drawn line. You have made four cuts and have eight half square triangles. As shown here. Trimming the half square triangles with a speciality ruler. I use the Quilt in a Day Triangle Square Up Ruler by Eleanor Burns. Leave the half square triangle folded and line the stitch line with the two and a half inch mark on the ruler. Trim along the sides of the ruler. As shown here. 
Press and trim the dog ears. Trimming the half square triangles with a standard ruler. Press the half square triangle open as shown. Lay under the ruler with the diagonal seam under the 45 degree mark on the ruler. Line the bottom and left sides at just more than two and a half inches. Trim along the right and top sides. Turn the unit round, lining up the diagonal and the bottom and left sides at exactly two and a half inches. Trim along the top and right sides as shown. Making the flying geese using the four at a time method. Using the five and three quarter inch square in fabric A and the three and a quarter inch squares in the background fabric. Draw a diagonal line on the back of the three and a quarter inch squares in background fabric. As shown here. Place two of the squares right sides together in opposite corners of the large square. Pin in place and sew a quarter inch seam on both sides of the drawn line. As shown here. Cut along the drawn line. Press seams towards the smaller triangles. Place a small square right sides together in the corner with the drawn line as shown. Pin in place and sew a quarter inch seam on both sides of the drawn line. As shown here. Cut along the drawn line. Press seams towards the smaller triangles. And repeat to make four in total. Trimming the flying geese with a speciality ruler. I use the Ultimate Flying Geese tool by Deb Heatherly from Creative Grids. Lay the unit under the ruler for trim number one at the two inch by four inch mark on the ruler. Trim along the right and top sides of the ruler as shown. Rotate the ruler and the unit around and trim number two. Line up the two by four inches. Trim along the right and top sides of the ruler as shown. And repeat with all four units.
And if you don't have a speciality ruler, then click on the link above to take you to my video on how to trim your flying geese with a standard quilting ruler. And trim these units to two and a half by four and a half inches. Block layout. Press your units and lay in the block layout. Pin the units together in rows, sewing with a quarter inch seam. Return to the block layout and press the seams open. Pin the bottom row units together with the centre row units and sew with a quarter inch seam. Then pin the top row units together with the centre row units and sew with a quarter inch seam. Return to the block layout and press the seams open. Pin the columns together matching the seams and the points and sew with a quarter inch seam. And if you want to get perfect points on your quilt blocks, click on the link above and take you to my video on this. Press your seams open and return to the block layout. Pin the right column to the centre column, matching the seams and points, and sew with the quarter inch seam. Return to the block layout, there's no need to press yet. Pin the left column to the centre column, matching seams and points, and sew with the quarter inch seam. Press your seams open. Congratulations, you have made the weather vane block. Here are some quilt options. This is an illustration of the quilt repeating the same block. There is no sashing or borders, but the use of the white background fabric in a block allows the design and fabrics to stand out. This is an illustration of the quilt repeating the same block placed on point. There is no sashing or borders, but you would need to add blocks in background fabric in between the blocks shown here with the stars. And use setting triangles around the edges, again shown here with the stars. This is an illustration of the quilt repeating the same block but with sashing, cornerstones and borders. And finally, this is an illustration of a sampler quilt using some of the blocks from this quilt block series. The sashing in this quilt is in the white background fabric. The cornerstones and border is in a darker fabric to pop and frame the quilt. Want to learn more? Watch another one of my videos from the Quilt Block series. Click above to go to my playlist. I hope you like this video. Please like and subscribe to my channel. More of these videos will be posted, so please tune in. Thank you for watching and bye for now.